In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the stocks that we set up for, um, actually I think it was the 9 a.m. session in the trading room, and it was HLF. Okay, so we started with a blank chart and basically looked for price relationships where we might have another entry on the buy side. And I did find a couple of different areas, but there's one area that we're on top of right here, right now, and it's ripe for a decision. And it comes in with, let's see, a 618 retracement of one swing, two symmetrical projections of other swings, you know, for example, like a swing like that compared to this current decline, and a 786 uh, retracement. The zone comes in at 5488 to 5532. So that's what I call, you know, the trade setup zone, okay? And as long as price holds above there, I want to go down to a lower time frame chart and see if it triggers an entry. Because if it does, my risk can be defined either underneath the low that's made prior to buy signal or underneath the low end of the zone, which is 54.88. Now, if you look at um, a 15 minute chart, which is the aggressive swing trade trigger, with HLF, this is on a 15 here, you can see that there is not a buy trigger yet. Okay, For the buy trigger, we would need to see the um, 834 EMA crossover to the upside, which we haven't seen just yet, and also in the process I want to see it take out a prior swing high. If both of those things occur, then you can take a trade in HLF and then place your stop again, either underneath here or underneath the, uh, the actual zone. So it is a setup. We have to see if it holds. I'm wrong if it goes below the zone. And if it does actually hold up, the upside potential is going to be the 1272 extension or 6354. Okay, that's the typical target for any of these um, you know, trend trade setups. And um, it just comes in from taking this prior high to low and running the extension. That's what gives us our initial upside target. And, uh, you know, let's see what it does against this zone. Um